You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, yesterday I made a video after the Browns won their game against the Colts. They came away. P.J. Walker came in the game after Deshaun Watson was cleared through concussion protocol and it left everybody scratching their heads because at no point during the game yesterday did not a single reporter on ground level even mention Deshaun Watson's shoulder. Fact is, nobody knew exactly what was going on. And after the game, Kevin Stefanski gave this explanation, and it still leaves people scratching their heads. Because after all, the Browns gave up a lot of draft capital to get a quarterback that was supposed to be the franchise savior, sign him to a fully guaranteed $230 million contract, of which Jimmy Haslam can put on all kinds of clown shoes and clown hair at this point, Uh, a contract so bad that NFL owners said, this will never happen again, and I think we're 10 or 12 contracts past it now, and it won't happen again. Lamar Jackson didn't get it. By the way, Lamar Jackson balling out this year. He's balling out. They destroyed the Lions yesterday. So that leaves everybody scratching their heads. Kevin Stefanski has come out, made some comments about why the Browns quarterback didn't return and then left everybody scratching their heads because he didn't return, but right after the game, you said he's starting against the Seattle Seahawks. All the while, Deshaun Watson has mentioned his shoulder. What is going on with this team right now? And keep in mind, this roster, Jerome Ford, Kareem Hunt, Miles Garrett, this is a really good roster. Amari Cooper, this is a very good, this is a Super Bowl-like roster who until yesterday had played damn good, historically good defense through five games. And... Once again, the Browns are left scratching their heads at quarterback. P.J. Walker, ex-NFL or ex-XFL quarterback, really damn good XFL quarterback, but XFL nonetheless, has started two games. And the Browns somehow, some way, in cardiac fashion, has won those games. So let's get to Stefanski because here's my concern. If I don't know where Browns fans necessarily stay, uh, set or stay on – Kevin Stefanski, but this is what I think is going to happen. Jimmy Haslam, the Browns might end up making the playoffs or just missing the playoffs. Let's say they just missed the playoffs. They fire the coach. Why do they fire the coach? Well, he didn't get everything out of Deshaun Watson. So you bring in the next coach. Well, I didn't pick Deshaun Watson. All the while, you've got a quarterback draft coming up that's got 10 or 12 draftable quarterbacks and potentially really and truly six to seven that may start for 10 or 15 years in the NFL. Now we know how that works. Half of them won't, but nonetheless, are you going to pass on a franchise quarterback potentially in the draft for Deshaun Watson? There's a lot of question marks and I don't understand the, He's automatically going to start. You're not even going to see what's going on throughout the week. That's what makes this so puzzling. If the shoulder is aggravated, how can you go out there yesterday, yesterday, 15 hours ago, and say he's starting against the Seahawks next week? Things are not adding up. It, it, it's, it, it doesn't make sense. Week 7 was supposed to be the long-awaited glorious return to the field for Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson. The star signal caller finally cleared every benchmark the team set for him after a rotator cuff contusion kept him from being, quote, functionally ready to play quarterback effectively over the last several weeks. He was limited on Thursday, then practiced fully on Friday, paving the way for him to start against the Colts. Twelve minutes in, Watson's day was done after a scary hit from Colts defensive end. Sent Watson falling backwards to the Lucas Oil Stadium turf where his head slammed down violently. As Watson laid on the turf, barely moving for several minutes, the collective concern was that he suffered a serious head injury. Eventually, Watson left with the trainers, which checked out by one of the NFL's neurologists, 
in the medical tent was cleared to play. But the head coach, Kevin Savansky, had other plans, and the 28-year-old watched the rest of the game in a 39-38 win. Quote, it's my job to make tough decisions, Stefanski said after the game. I just felt I wanted to protect him. I did not want to see him get hit. He was hit hard, and I know he cleared the protocol and all that, but I just wanted to protect him. Okay, but you're paying $230 million for our quarterback. The team can see everything going on. He told the team he was going to play against the Ravens. He backed out. He quit. He tapped out. There were rumblings coming out that the teammates were pissed, and then you don't let him go back out. Okay. Quote, I didn't know I was getting pulled off for a concussion until I got in the tent. I wasn't even worried about the head. It was mostly the shoulder. And then the spotter called me to evaluate me. From what they said, I got cleared the first time. Okay. Well, uh, if you got cleared, and but you're, you're saying it was mostly the shoulder you were worried about. Why the hell is this already happening? You're not going to take this week or take the first couple of days and see how the shoulder's doing? Nope. They designate him the start right after the game is over. Brown's quarterback, Deshaun Watson, made his first start in nearly a month. Team officials said he cleared concussion protocol, blah, blah, blah. Quote, I just did not put him back in there. I, I, I mean, it's, it's, I don't understand. Watson go on to say, quote, I want to go out there and try to help the team as much as possible. Go out there, play, and perform and compete. Watson said after the game, the decision was best for the team. They felt that was the best. P.J. did a great job of finishing the game. Watson was one for five with five yards. He ended up only getting one credited interception. I think the guy really and truly dropped the second one ultimately. I, I, I don't understand. Stefanski said, there's no doubt he'll be the starter next week against Seattle. He's our starter in Seattle. It will always be my decision to protect our players. But if the rotator cuff is an issue, I, I don't understand. There, there's so much weirdness going on here. This is his stats, guys. You're now 10 games into this experiment. He's got a 60% completion percentage. That is not up to par in today's NFL. That is less than where he set as a rookie. He's got 11 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, and a six, we'll call it a 6.45 yards per attempt uh, statistic. Look at these numbers. 8.3. As a rookie, 8.3. 8.2, 7.8, led the league with 8.9 in his last league uh, year with the Texans. 4,800 yards, 70% completion, three Pro Bowls there. Now, I mean, I don't know what's going on, but this, this experiment is looking more and more like a disaster for the Browns. And that, what is Kevin Stefanski doing? Is he getting... Is he getting an, uh, Jimmy Haslam in his ear to be ultra careful with Deshaun Watson? But yet, what did you pay $230 million? You run the risk of losing your locker room is what's happening. If you keep running Watson out there, or if you have him ride the pine when everybody knows he's cleared, all right, because there's going to be a million articles and a million videos being made about Deshaun Watson not playing. So that's a distraction. And again... We noticed it. You'd have to be an idiot not to have noticed the energy level go up on that team when P.J. Walker came in. I said it. Same thing happened when Jimmy Garoppolo replaced Trey Lance last year. The energy level for the 49ers skyrocketed. Whenever it was. Three, three and a half, four games into the season last year. I, I, I think, Stephane, and you know what's going to happen here? If they miss the playoffs, the fancy's going to get fired. Another coach is going to come in, 
and you've got a rinse repeat quarterback situation going on, which you probably need anyway at this point. This is going to go look, I, I gotta be honest, because you're talking about a franchise quarterback, Herschel Walker was not a franchise quarterback. He was a running back. And when you when you add in the the franchise crippling salary here, this is a disaster. This is a disaster for the Cleveland Browns. It really is. $63 million in dead cap money every year for the next three years. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 supporters. What is Kevin Stefanski doing? Does anybody know? Does Deshaun Watson really want to play? There was a lot of... I, I was going to do an addendum to this video on this. I had I had more reaction from fans because fans are of the opinion. A lot of Browns fans are like, I don't even want to see him on the field anymore. This was a disaster. It didn't work. Let's move on. I mean, you know, peace. I'm out. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.